Hey folks, Jason here. I'm in Florida. This is my last full day down here. Don't know if I'm going to upload this today or tomorrow, New Year's Eve. I'll have to see. Four, four things I want to talk to you guys about. First off, I had this weird dream the other night. Um, in it, I had this tattoo. I don't recall getting it in the dream. So I was in the dream. I was going around showing it to everyone. Hey, look at my tattoo. What not. Um, it was like a small butterfly or a little shield or something. I don't really remember. Um, no, no big deal, really. But the thing is, it was kind of weird. I don't know if anyone out there can you know, analyze dreams, but it would be really great if you can. Uh, and it's also like two other bits related to that. One, I'm Jewish. And in the Jewish religion, you can't... Uh, if you have a tattoo, you can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery. So... Uh, yeah, and the other thing, I don't really like needles. I mean, I can tolerate getting a shot, but, you know, having ink subcutaneously injected into slash underneath my skin, not necessarily my cup of tea. Uh, second thing, there's a local paper down here, the Sun Sentinel, and I was looking at it the other day, uh, Friday, and I saw in the uh, horoscopes, in the Securum, I'm gonna put this down. Okay. So I was looking through the section of the comics, as you know, anyone would. And I was looking over the horoscopes. And give me a sec, let me count this up. One. Two. Five of the uh, horoscopes are related to bargains and shopping. Isn't that a little weird? The stores are telling me to tell you to go shop. Right. Yeah. Mm -mm. Third thing. The other day, my step grandpa, his biological grandson, my um, grandma, and my young brother, and I went to see Molly and me. Very enjoyable, uh, adorable, touching family film. I found myself tearing up towards the end. Yes, it was that good. Um, I mean, it was based on a book by Josh Grogan. I read it a couple years ago around the time it came out. Uh, it was a very, very good read, especially if you like pets. Charles Trippy, go read and go see Marley and Me. And if you want Marley and to see it, then um, find a bootleg. What can I say? Very touch and feel. Um, uh, I mean, since it was based on a book, I can't, you know, bring everything to the screen. I mean, there were some things that were changed and added, so you can't always get what you want. The cast was great. Alan Arkin was pretty good as the um, Sun Sentinel um, chief. chief. Um, I think it was maybe like four out of five stars. It's quite good. Maybe four, four and a half out of five. Uh, fourth thing, three restaurants, if you're down in this area, you should check out. This is like the Delray, West Palm area. First restaurant, Greenfields on Atlantic. They give you a great meal. It's like, a la, the entire thing is like a la carte. With your entree, you get a smoked fish dip, which is very good. Uh, soup, salad, uh, some bread, and the meal itself. And the dessert is a nominal fee. Um... Second restaurant, uh, it's a Japanese buffet called Kyojin. Uh, it's in the um, De Delray, no, sorry, it's in the Boca area. The Greenfields is in the Delray area. Uh, Kyojin, uh, this huge, enormous sushi spread, it's great. I uh, highly recommend going there. And a uh, third restaurant, a seafood restaurant called Snappers. It's in like the, the Boca area. They have uh, this. One great dish, um, Danish lobster tails, which is like little lobster tails. Really good. I uh, highly recommend it. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Otherwise, it's probably going to be me, my last video of 2008 posted, that is. So...
Happy New Year. Uh, have a very nice day. Um, guess I'll see everyone out there in the new year. Uh, if you have resolutions, hope you keep them. I haven't tried making resolutions in a while because if I make them, they tend to not. They tend to fall through. Anyway, I think that's about it. Nice. Have a very nice day. Have a very nice new year, and I will see you all in the new year.